Hi guys, thanks for tuning in Coastside Family Adventures. We've been driving up the Washington coast on North 101, entered the Olympic National Park and then followed the signs towards the Quinault and I'm not sure if I'm saying it right but it's the Quinault Rainforest. Uh, they do have a nice parking lot here, big enough for RVs. Not a lot of people out because it has been raining. Um, but we are going to go do a little bit of exploring. All right, Rainforest Nature Trail. Lots of deer in here, I think, Daniel. What about wolves? Mm, I don't think so. I love wolves. There's an RV park here too, and I think we're gonna go check it out. We don't really have a plan where we're gonna spend the night. We were thinking to make it to South Beach, but hey, we can always make it there tomorrow. It's kind of nice when you are not in a hurry and you don't really have reservations that has been working out really well for us you know when you first start this adventure you feel like you have to have reservations for every night so you don't get stuck but very shortly you realize that um, you just keep canceling and you lose money Okay, there is a spruce tree here that is a thousand years old, but this one is the this one is four hundred years old, Daniel. It's the Douglas fir that is about four hundred years old. And if you want to <laughs> see how old it is, you gotta chop it down, and then you cut, and then you have to count each one of those. Well, we do not want to chop this one down. Yeah, it's way it's way too beautiful. Rainforest Trail goes straight, Lakeshore Trail goes to the left. That actually sounds kind of like a waterfall or something so down there. I so I think first let's go down here and then, then let's go back up and then let's go that way. Okay, let's check this out. Sounds like either a waterfall or a rushing river. Oh yeah, I see it. Rushing, wow. Rushing river? Rushing river. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, it is a waterfall! Look at this! Wow! Holy moly, this is crazy! Wow, that's a massive amount of water coming down! Oh! <laughs> I don't know if you guys see it as and it looks as amazing as it looks in like real nature views here for us. Like that is pretty insane. Wow. Okay guys, we decided to leave the trail and keep going deeper into the Quinault Forest towards the Quinault Lake, which we hit and there are a couple of campgrounds around here, but uh, the internet is just not good enough for me to work. So we're gonna have to keep going or turn around and keep um, going towards South Beach, which was the original plan and we hopefully get better internet there. We'll see, we'll keep exploring. Hey, guess what guys? South Beach Campground is closed. <laughs> I don't do much research, I guess, 
which is fine. It's only 2, 2.30 or something. We'll find another campground. I just want to go down here and see this really quick, just as a reference for future visits or you know, just for you guys to see what South Beach Campground is all about. Um, somebody suggested it to me on Facebook, one of my Facebook followers, and I believe it was supposed to be free. I mean, I don't really, you know, that it wouldn't make a difference to me if I had to pay here. This would have been a pretty amazing place to be. Free is even better. But unfortunately, maybe they op open on Memorial Day weekend. Oh, I see it. What an awesome place. Yeah, it's a first come first serve campground and it does look to me like it is um, free because there's no uh, pay station or anything. Oh, there is a kind of a ranger house or something. Wow, definitely an amazing place. I wished I could spend the night here. That's for sure. Wow, beach trail. Dogs are okay on the leash. Well, definitely amazing. I assume that it opens on Memorial Day weekend, which is in just a couple of weeks. And we will keep going and find a different spot for the night. All right, guys, I drove just a, like three more miles and there is another campground here, which is actually open. This is called the Kala Loch Campground. It has picnic benches and fireplaces, but no uh, electric hookups. Uh, it's not free, but I believe it's like 20 bucks a night or something. And it's actually not small. It's a pretty big campground. And you can just walk right down here to the beach. Or there is, uh, going this way, there is the Color Log Lodge. And that, um, I saw there is a trailhead for the, for the rainforest trail. Unfortunately, uh, I don't want to stay without electricity. We are going to keep going. I mean, it's not late. We're just out exploring. So here's an example of a spot. Really cool place, if you ask me. Super cool. Most of the spots are small, but I definitely saw some spots where uh, we would fit in. And this is the loop A and then um, on the other side, you, you just register basically and then find your spot. And then on the other side, there's loop D and F. So we'll keep going. Wow, guys, look at this. I decided to just keep going on 101 North. And then I followed the sign for the whole rainforest. have seen something um, to just check out this place why not right we are not in a hurry cell phone seems to work so far and it's just seriously magical it's insane wow we still haven't found a campground guys <laughs> but I thought I'll stop and film this also I'm hungry it is about 4, 4.30 or so by now. And we are in the whole rainforest still. And I'm gonna eat something and then keep going. Yay, we're all settled in. We are happily 
settled for a few days. Yay! That was quite actually difficult to find a place that had um, electricity and cell reception in the Olympic National Park. Um, lots of campgrounds there, amazingly beautiful camping, but definitely pretty rural settings. Um, we made it all the way up to the hot springs, which was the place for me to, um, you know, that I wanted to spend a few days. And unfortunately, the, the great RV park up there, guys, hot spring pools, amazing um, resort, but absolutely no cell reception and they don't even have Wi-Fi. I mean, what the heck? How can you have a resort, you know, with, I don't know, um, they had cottages and uh, large rooms and no Wi-Fi? That was seriously kind of beyond me. But either way, we decided to go back to the place that we knew we were happy before. We got in the same spot again. We got um, electricity and full, I mean full hookups and Wi-Fi and great cell reception. And this is where we're gonna wait for daddy. Yay, thanks for tuning in, Coastside Family Adventures.